Should go inside, call it a night, huh? Good night, dear. What? No, not me, you. I'll wait for them. Them? Yes, them. The authorities. They'll send the army at them. Oh, something this big? Yeah. I'll wait for them. No, they, they'll take care of things. We should go inside. Maybe we should take him inside. What? The boy, dear. Maybe we should take him inside. I don't think you're supposed to move the body. Well, maybe you're right. We should... Should leave it right here where it is. Him. Huh? Him, dear. Leave him where he is. Yeah. Him. My connection to it, I, I went away from the piece thinking about it and talking about it for a really long time. Um, I think a lot of the questions that the characters ask, I've asked. And while the event is so extraordinary that they have to deal with, I think that there's something very human um, about this type of tragedy and it relates to all kinds of grief and loss, you know? It's about Harold and Elsie, an elderly couple uh, who live on this isolated farm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, actually, the nondescript edge of nowhere. His characters are able to be funny and tragic simultaneously, which is a gift, right? Uh, to be able to write that kind of dialogue and create those kinds of characters who are just so real and we relate to so much. They hear this thunderclap, or what they think is thunderclap, and Harold comes out to check what it is. And it's a star-studded night, so he looks up and sees this little fleck of light coming down, and he thinks it's possibly a satellite that hit the atmosphere. His wife comes out and they, she makes a wish on it, and then all hell breaks loose and it ends up being the debris from a plane that was uh, blown up in the sky. And amongst the debris that lands on their field is a young man still in his airline seat, dead. The exploration of a, a, a relationship and a couple who are experiencing the next stages of grief and making decisions as to how they can carry on. And uh, it's inspired by a true story. Uh, my best friend was actually on the Lockerbie crash, which uh, a plane, Pan Am Flight 103, was. Uh, blown up over Lockerbie, Scotland in 1988, and Her uh, Paul Freeman was one of the two Canadians of war. Oh, you are a sweetheart. Don't worry about me. Don't see me. If it was our boy, wouldn't you want someone to stay with him? It's cold. It's getting colder.